2022 is going to be a tough year. And I want to explain what is going to happen and how this is going to hurt. And honestly, about 255 million people are going to be impacted here in the United States. Now, I am sure we can all agree that prices are continuing to climb. What we know is the price of gas is now $4.59 per gallon. The price of food is still going up at a rate of 10.8% year over year. And honestly, it's going to go up even more because right now there's export bans abroad that are going to cause even more supply chain issues. We also know rents are still expected to increase by 10 to 14% in 2022 alone. And now Americans are saving less money than in the past two years, simply as a result of higher prices everywhere else. We can't save money because we have to spend it on other things. And studies now show that people on average have $9,000 less in savings than they did last year as well. That's crazy. The problem is that our economy is not expected to get any stronger than it is right now. There's also no federal stimulus coming to bail out those that are still struggling. We know that's not going to happen. We know Congress is having a tough time passing other bills to get some relief to the American people. So guess what? We are going to struggle. And I believe everyone knows that. But here's what financial experts are saying. The next six to 12 months will be difficult for about 255 million people here in the United States. The reason is actually very simple. It is because this is roughly how many people don't have an emergency fund for six months or more. Think about that. And also think about your situation. This is a stat that is, it's, it's horrible. If people do not have an emergency fund that would cover six months, for instance, let's say you owe, you know, through your, you, your expenses are $3,000 per month. Well, you need to have six months of that, which means $18,000 saved up. Most people don't have that. And if you think that stat is bad, well, look at this. 185 million people in the United States couldn't even cover a $1,000 emergency expense with their savings. That's crazy. And you want to hear another scary fact? Well, about 95 million people couldn't cover a $1,000 emergency without a credit card. Yeah, that's scary. And this is one of the reasons why the coming economic downturn is going to hurt more than 255 million people. The expectation going forward, again, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, okay? And I don't want to be the, you know, the one that says, says the sky is falling, but the expectation is that employers are going to stop hiring and potentially they're going to just let employees go. Well, what this is going to do is we are also going to see hours get reduced. We're going to see prices continue to rise. And eventually, Americans won't be able to pay for their essential goods like they have been paying for and they've been accustomed to for the past couple of years. That's going to be a difficult time. Now, here's what I can tell you. We know these times are coming. We see the writing on the wall, right? We see the stock market is selling off. And when the stock market's selling off, here's the bad thing, is over the past two years, the American people have used the stock market and their portfolios as a way to not really hedge against uh, you know, inflation or the markets or anything like that, but people have used the stock market as a savings account when they need some money to pay for a, a bill or they need to pay for a vacation or whatever it is, guess what? They go to their portfolio, they open up Robinhood or Webull or TD Ameritrade, Schwab, whatever they use, they open it up and they sell some stock. Then they take that money, once it clears, and they cash it out. That's what they do. That's what we've seen over the past couple of years. And the hard part with that, if the stock market's selling off and going down, you don't have that luxury anymore. And especially with real estate, all those people that were using their real estate equity as a way to take money out and use it to pay for things, well, that's kind of over. So here's my advice to you. The first thing you need to do is find a way to create an emergency fund before it's too late. Honestly, there's still time, but it's coming down to the end. It's coming down to the wire. You need to start saving now. 
Now, people are going to ask, well, you know, what do you recommend? How, do, how can I save money when I can't even pay for the things that I need? Well, here's the honest truth. According to multiple financial experts, they say that about 30% of Americans' expenses are not needed. About 30%. Now, in my opinion, I think that's quite low. I think Americans spend more money on things that aren't needed than, than they should. But again, financial experts say about 30%. So cancel some of those things. Maybe it's a gym membership. Maybe it's Hulu or Netflix. Maybe it's a, you know, uh, you have some type of meals that are prepped, right? They're prepped for you. Maybe you need to cancel that or sell a vehicle, sell some unwanted items, electronics, uh, an old cell phone, take more hours at work, whatever you need to do, but figure out a way for you to actually put some money into an emergency fund. Now, however much money you decide to put away, honestly, doesn't matter. Just put money away for a rainy day because if all indications are correct, we will be in a recession within the next 12 months. That It's not a, a matter of, you know, are we going to be in a recession or not? The expectation is we will. It's just a matter of when. When, how long, and how severe? Those are the questions. So, as always, as I know more, I promise I'll come back on, share all latest news and updates. But again, I just want you to understand this is going to hurt. And about 255 million people are going to impact, be impacted simply because they do not have the savings that they need. All right? So again, if you have any questions whatsoever, ask your questions down in the comment section below. Consider subscribing if you like these daily uploads. And I'll see you guys on the next one.